Three, two, one. Welcome back to Getting Good on My Myth. Today we are doing the level um, 78. It has come to my attention that you are not quite up to par in the field of pet management and training. The level um, 78 myth pet quest. That's what we're doing today. To remedy this, I am granting you a new pet, or more excitingly, instructing you in the way in which you can earn your own. The pet in question is the Basilisk, a creature you should have gained passing familiarity with by now. To learn more, I encourage you to speak to my distant colleague, Kilimon Copperleaf, in the library in Baobab Crown in Zafaria. As it happens, Zafaria is quite hospitable to basilisks. Kilimon will instruct you as to where you can find one. Right, let us head over to um, Zafaria. Now, my myth has um, increased quite a lot in level since last time you've probably seen him. We stream this character quite a lot, so if you haven't seen any of that, you should either subscribe to my second channel or follow me on Twitch for more informations, not all informations, for more um, myth questings. Um, but yeah, Baobab Crown is this way. But yeah, we're currently level 83 and we are in Azteca. We're in the Salt Meadow Swamp, which is pretty cool. So yeah, hopefully soon we will be be farming Darkmoor. That is the plan. Hopefully soon. We're, we're nearly there. We're at 83, so only a few more levels to go, which is pretty good. Pretty good. We'll farm Darkmoor and get Darkmoor gear on a second character. That'll be crazy. And then, um, yeah, I have another max character, basically. That'll be pretty cool. Now we can talk to this guy from down here. No, we can't. This is so sad. Some of them you can, and some of them you can't. This one you apparently can't. This is so sad. So sad. My day is ruined. Oh my gosh. You are looking for a basilisk. Hmm. I wish I had better news for you, young wizard. Basilisks make excellent companions for wizards. But there are those who steal and mistreat them. There was a clutch of basilisk eggs in the savannah, but no more. It was taken by a poacher named Idris Beastaker. Idris Beastaker is a rough sort, far too dangerous to approach. If I were you, I would not visit Stone Town to confront him. I guess we're visiting Stone Town to confront him. Because, you know, if they say no, that means we need to go. That's the motto of today. That is the motto of today. Right, let's head to Stone Town. Teleporters. Man, it's so useful that these teleporters are here now. It makes everything so much quicker. It is amazing. Um, and we are going to go to the poacher's home, which is this way, apparently. And it is this house just over here. What do we have in here? This should be fine. This should be fine. We should be all Who good. dares? You won't take this last basilisk egg. I'm going to sell it and make a fortune. Unfortunately, I'm going to keep it and make it a pet. Because that makes more sense than selling it. Right. Greyhorn Mercenaries rank 10 and a rank 11 boss. So not too bad. Um, 7,760 health um, for the boss, which should be pretty easy to do. We'll get an Orthrus or probably an Orthrus should be fine. Blade twice and Orthrus should probably kill. We might even boost on these guys um, from memory. I don't know if we boost on the... Oh, we're stunned. This is great. We won't get another blade. That's fine. This is fine. Perfectly fine. Um, I don't know if we boost on the Greyhorn Mercenaries. No clue at all about that, but hey, we will see. We will see, and we'll hit next. And that should be death to them all. The the thing that I have learnt the most, I think, over the last wee while... Oh, we do not boost on them. This is sad. We're going to put up an infall as well before we hit. Um, the thing that I've learnt the most while questing through this game again, or at least part of this game again, after they did the spell order and health nerfs, is that it's really, really easy now. So if you haven't... If you were, like, stuck in Zafaria, or Avalon, or even, like, Celestia, it's pretty easy to get through now. It's not actually painful anymore, which is great. Um, and I don't mind that, but it, it does make it feel really, really vast. Um, because, I mean, we managed to... I managed to basically complete Zafaria and Avalon really, really quickly. If I actually hadn't, like, stopped halfway through to, you know, not, not stream or anything, it was pretty quick avalon went by really really quick we did what like it was probably about nine or ten hours to complete avalon which is crazy really really crazy 
but then again i was when i was doing it on my death i was doing it in so much big sections in between that maybe it would be that quick if i actually normally played the game like that but it's definitely definitely a lot quicker we did not kill the boss this is sad very sad we will have a medusa or something i guess maybe no we'll probably use ninja pigs because it's fun because it's fun he's got half health or just under half health left which is not too bad he's going to get some health back with this wraith which is not okay not the best but oh well oh well he can do that if he so wishes to kablam and give him the health so sad right and now he is over half health left which is not the greatest not the greatest um right let us blade i'm kind of 3900 I think we might go for a Medusa, just because it does slightly more. Slightly more, plus a stun. He's probably stun immune, but hey, you never know. You never know. He may not be. He may not be. What is this, Blade? Okie dokie. Okie dokie, Mr. Bladey boy. We'll put up another Blade then. Blade twice. Two Blades, and um, just saving up for a Medusa, which we can do now. Nope, not now. Next time. Next time. We could do an we'll just do a ninja pigs and see if it kills. And if not, we can always go for a frog. Next, hopefully, if we get a power pup, which we should maybe hopefully get, possibly. Wow, we crit this time. This is good. This is good. Crits are fantastic. Easy peasy. Kablam. Kablam, ninja pigs. Bye. He's very dead. Nice work. Take the basilisk egg, wizard. But what will you do with it? Raise it as a pet? Yes, that, that is what I would do with it. That, that is the intention here. I don't know why that is so difficult for you to understand, but that is the intention. The absolute intention. This is a really, really short quest, and I like it. I like it like that. Short, to the point, simple. You know, get some dialogue, and then defeat a boss, and then talk to Cyrus again. Easy peasy. We also need to do Atlantia as well, so we might do that sometime soon. Hmm, that will be interesting. That'll be interesting. Adventures into Atlantia. Hmm. Hmm. That might be a stream project, though. Who knows? Anyway, Myth School. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Let's go for this. That took long enough. Let me see the egg. Ah, excellent. It looks as if it will hatch soon. Take good care of it. There will be a quiz later. Of course there will be. Right, there we go. Mythical Basilisk. Um, let's equip the pet. Not that we're going to use it. Um, it's called Boots. Quite a cool name. We're just going to go out here. Going to go out here and see see what it looks like. But it gives a Basilisk card. Um, hold up. Hold the phone. Let's get off our mount real fast. Um, there it is. Look at him. So cute. So cute and adorable. Gives a Basilisk card. Um, it's a 9-pip virulent basilisk, which is pretty cool. Anyway, that is all for today. Thank you for watching. Remember to leave a like and subscribe. If you're already subscribed, press the wee little bell so you know exactly when I post another video. And remember to craft outside the box.